and just like that, we've time travelled back to 1985 for the European Grand Prix qualifying session. Let's see if we can beat that 107.179 around here, set by Ayrton Senna in 1985 in the Lotus 9070. Of course, this is the Lotus 9080. However, an interesting fact, he actually went slower in qualifying the next year in this car, so this car is slower than the 9070 around Brands Hatch. So, full H pattern shifter, you know, over a thousand brake horsepower in qualifying mode. I just, I don't know how the hell I'm going to get close to that. But anyway, let's see how close we can get. Right then, so, heading out onto the circuit now. Absolute mega beast of a car, this. Woof! Jesus! Already struggling to get a gear with the H pattern shifter. This car, absolute monster. <laughs> oh, really, not a lot of. Uh, weird, actually, because they had such fat tyres. I've, I've just realised something. We need to go back to the pits. I've not, I've not got qualified tyres, I've not got no fuel. Good start. Right then, so, heading out onto track now. That's more like it. Whoa! We've increased the value on the engine limiter so the engine can run at to its absolute peak without having to suffer or without compensating for reliability, which of course they'd have to do a lot of back into the 80s. This turbo engines were so unreliable. Thankfully, this is just a game, however, and we can run everything to the max. No fuel, and just have as many Banzai laps as we can. Lotus 97T actually was a pretty good car in 85. It scored eight pole positions, half of the amount of races there were that season. I don't know how many Ayrton got and how many his teammate Elio D'Angelo got, as we've already caught that up. However, it was a quick qualifying car, but obviously that season the championship was won by Alain Prost in the McLaren, despite the Williams possibly being the quickest car throughout that season. Anyway, enough of the history lesson, let's get started on a lap. Up to fifth gear, coming down to sixth. On the not so straight straight here at Brands Hatch. Let's try fourth gear down into the first corner. That seemed to work quite nicely. Up the hill, straight down to second for this hairpin. I don't know the corner names here at Brands, so do forgive me. Down to third. Use as much as that exit as we can. Third gear again. Very tentative lap. Pretty much just a warm up lap. Alright, let's be brave. Oh. oh no, too much grass! Bollocks. Fifth gear, sixth gear, coming down the straight. Same again, fourth gear into the first corner. That's much better, we got it in much tighter that time. Straight down to second again. Despite it being uphill, you really do have to brake quite early in these cars. Of course, they did have levels of downforce. Straight into third there. I was going to go for three, but... Whoa! Back in, just snapping away there. I'm going to try and be brave again. Fifth. Then we turned it a bit too early there. And then we turned it far too late for that corner. Thankfully there's exit there. Fifth, lift off down to fourth, turn it in. Nice. Straight down to third. Hook it into that inside cambered curb. Back down to fourth for the final corner. You want to carry more speed into there than you can, but the camber pushes you out wide. Coming down the start finish line. It's a not very impressive 1 minute 9.5. So we are quite a few tenths away, well, quite a few seconds, sorry, away from Ayrton's time. Yowie wowie. Oh, just made a big mistake there. Thankfully, we're at the end of the lap, so we can just line up for another one. 
That was a big one, though. That felt sweet. We did run a bit wide, but not terrible. Come on, come on. Half a second up in the first sector, that's a good start. Letting the car wobble underneath us through acceleration on exit. good. Don't get too greedy now. That was nice. I felt controlled aggression through there. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, just caught that snap there. Final corner. Woo. What's the lap time going to be? Come on, come on. A 1.7.6! Oh, that's a mega lap! That is an absolute mega lap there. Jesus! God, I can only imagine the emotions of those guys back in 85 doing it for real. Good God! Oh, shit! Shit a brick! No words. We're not even, we've not even matched the time. We're half a second off still, but I will take that. Half a second off with their eight laps. I'm definitely taking that. I don't know if we're going to get close to that again. That felt like an absolute magic lap, to be honest. For default setup, anyway. Absolutely just Yahoo in it at the end. Jesus! Oh, that's what you get for pushing too hard. Oh, such a... I just want to do more laps. This car and this track combo is just perfect. I'm doing it. I'm going for one more. No! Oh, it's infuriating being that close. Many unbearable hours later.